dude, this guy was, this DK's brown snake, huge by the way, was out on the crawl, just crawling out right here. Very beautiful. Awesome. That is insane. Wow. This Darn it. is huge too. I'm gonna get a... I mean, look at that thing. I mean, here I'll set him down. Uh, he's gonna but run. he's just... That is a big DK brown snake. Wow, well, awesome. Hey, Alright, here's a snake. You can let go of him. It's actually pretty big. Um, just found him like this. Super awesome. The patterning on the head is amazing. It's pretty black. Yeah, this is but a really nice one. Just walking in it. In the grass over here, there's definitely more. That is amazing. This guy's just going under this rock right here for the lava focus. That is pretty awesome. You can still see his tail slightly. That's so cool. And then right out here is a mute swan. And a, that is awesome. There's a out there with the field. Oh, cool. And another yellow run warbler, and then there's Caspian tern calling, and yellow rumps, bluing teal, um, gadwall. Pretty cool. Awesome. So, and actually right back in here, there's a lesser yellow legs, if I can find it. I know there's greater yellow legs right here, which is pretty cool in there. Just lost the, uh, the lesser, but that's so cool. Alright, well right back here is a yellow rump warbler doing some back here. I don't know if you could see that, but that's pretty cool. Well, there's the kingfisher. Alright. Come on. Oh, great mulling. That's pretty cool. So just now I flipped this awesome plains garter snake. Awesome. Well, I'm wearing gloves, so it might take a while for me to pause and play it, but it's actually a Chicago garter snake. Still very cool. It's all black and like with a gray belly. It is so weird, but I'm gonna go back under your board. Just like that. And it is gone. That is awesome. So we were walking and my mom flipped a log and um that happened. That is a smooth green snake. Smooth green snake. Oh, oh my gosh. So here's a snake again. It is so cool. Here I'm going to get some phone video. So here is this insane snake again. gosh so these guys live in a few places in Cook County but they're really hard to find and we're actually going to another place that has them today but um, we got word that there was one this is the first time it's ever been seen at this location um, other than yesterday and uh, we actually found the same snake that was found yesterday <laughs> so this is insane like it's so cool it's green Usually I don't see any green snakes, and I just walked um, a ways down the path, and Simon and Mom found a two and a half foot garter snake. Maybe even three. I mean, Maybe three. As wide as my wrist. Cool. Um, but yeah, this green snake is amazing. Do you want it? Do you want so, an up close picture, Mom? That is insane. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Wow. Can I get a... Yeah, like, the underside is kind of... Whoa, it's... They're so thin, but mm -hmm. pretty long. It's freaking out. That is yeah, amazing. So here's this snake again. You can see the underside is a lot lighter than the top. And just doing his defensive pose. It is so cool. It's not focusing because I'm using one hand, but... Maybe it will in a second. I don't know, 
know, but that is amazing. So, here is this snake again. It is so amazing. It's actually focusing now. It's climbing around on my hand. This is a, they have a close relative called the rough green snake and it has keel scales. Oops. Which means the scales have a little keel in them. And these are completely smooth. You can see that they don't have a keel. And that's why they're called smooth green snake instead of rough green snake. But as you can see, they're aptly named because they're also green and smooth. So, should we release them? Yeah, do it. All right. Awesome. Just gonna release him right under his log. Perfect. Here. All right. right you have a good life, sir. All right. Slips right under his log. Just gonna nudge him. That is amazing. If oh can, yes. Uh -oh. All right. Come on. Please uh, wait, come uh -oh. up. Or... I don't think it's coming up. I don't think it's coming up either. Hold on. We gotta see though. Well, Wait, I don't even know what this thing is. The boards are huge. Yeah, they're well, really here, thick. Here. If we if we all Not lift... Sure. Yeah, here. I won't do the flip clip then. Well, we'll see what's under here. So here's this guy. He calmed down. Super beautiful. You can see that orange on the the chin and the blue and the, and the awesome color. Very freshly shed snake. About a foot long, maybe a little longer. Pretty, um, pretty big. Yeah, that is amazing. Wow. Our mom just spotted this guy basking. It is so orange and Jeez. insane. It's pretty big. But on this side, oh my gosh, dude. It's okay. But yeah, it's so orange. It's crazy. It's pretty big too. It's really nice and brown. Oh gosh, With dude. some blue in it. Orange yeah. on the neck. The orange is so cool. I'm gonna go actually put him down in the... That is amazing. Oh, bummer. Oh, there's a yellow rumped warbler. Keeps moving around. So here's a blowing tail, and then right in here, there's a ton of yellow legs. A ton of yellow legs. I'll get some better video in a second. So here are these spotted. I mean, <laughs> not spotted. Kind of, there's one that looks like a spotted, but these are the yellow legs. There's both species, right? Greater. But that is awesome, but there's a ton more back in here. That is so cool. So that bird calling is a Carolina run. It's pretty cool. We found the Dutchman's britches! Um, this was a flower we were looking for. I'll back up and get better video. But that is so cool. So there's that Dutchman's britches again. It's all this white flowering stuff. It's kind of pinkish too. But that is so cool. So this is actually all skunk cabbage. It's pretty cool. All in the quotey quotey's cabbage form. <laughs> There's a lot of flowers here too. I haven't taken videos just because. Yeah, but there's a lot of flowers here. It's pretty cool. This stuff is called mass, and then you look up and it's These everywhere. Are all, and then. Uh, rue anemones. Ah, uh, what is this? Bluebells. Oh, Virginia bluebells. Cool. There's a lot of it back there too. Um, but yeah, this is so much ground cover. It's really cool. Oh, there's some orange. Oh, what is that again? Isn't it called like jewelweed or something? Forgot. Well, cool. All right, just a few red tail hawks flying around. Pretty cool. Oh my gosh, Blanchard's cricket frog. Oh my gosh. Wait, I've got one. I've got one. Blanchard's cricket oh, I frog. Have one. That is amazing. I'm gonna try and get some better views for your eyes. Oh my gosh, Brian, this is insane. We are in Cook County. Blanchard's Cricket Frog. Oh my gosh. These guys are way far south. Like only south. 
Oh my gosh, that is insane. Right there. So, there is that Blanchard's Cricket Frog here. I should just switch over to manual focus because my autofocus is not working. So, there, oh my gosh, that is amazing. Blanchard's Cricket Frog in Cook County. That is amazing. Wow. So, all right, here is another cricket frog. Mm -hmm. Blends in so perfectly. That is insane. It's really green too. That's awesome. But that looks amazing. It's so small and you can barely see it. <laughs> that is amazing. That's a lot of swallows. Wow. And then there's some mute swans right there. It's pretty cool, I'll get some close up. And then right there, some Caspian terns. It's pretty cool. Oops, some mallards. Well, there was just a red tailed hawk out here, but there are so many tree and um, rough wing swallows. So many. Um, here, I can get enough close of some. So acrobatic and so cool. Probably 40 swallows. Got a Cooper's hawk right here. Pretty nice. Got a nice morning dove right here. So right out there, there's three great egrets. And then also over here, there's oh, the three more great egrets. Great egrets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's a red tailed hawk right there. It's pretty cool. There's the raptor you saw. And then there's the great blue heron. Egret. Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that, that great blue heron is walking around. Kind of walking backwards. Cool. Alright, so our mom just spotted this DK's brown snake right down there. Um, very freshly shed. It is so beautiful. And then when you flip it over, the underside is pinkish. I think this is a female because the tail is a bit short. It's on the short side. But this snake is so beautiful here. I'm going to rearrange um, there. That is so beautiful. Very freshly shed. Um, the colors are so incredibly nice, but yeah, that underside is so pink. Um, awesome, pretty big one actually. It's probably about eight inches long, pretty big for a DK's brown, but that is awesome. So, snakes flatten out like this to make themselves look bigger. And you can see how red this snake is. Um, and that's kind of their defensive pose. It's really, really big compared to that like foot long stick. Maybe a two foot and a half long stick, but that is amazing. And you can see those, um, that pale light brown stripe down the middle. That is amazing. Such a beautiful snake. So here's this snake again. You can see next to my glove yep. how it's pretty big. We're gonna Hopefully let her be, put him by this tree so no, any more good. people Leave come through by, they won't get stepped on, but that is amazing. The yellow legs. So just now, my mom said there was a, the great blue heron eating something. It was a massive bullfrog. Oh my gosh. That is insane. Wow. Jeez. All right, so we had that DK's brown snake and we just decided to, to keep walking. And because the place we went over the weekend was so good, we decided to come about a week later. Um, and you know, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smooth green snake. Lay down. Wow. <laughs> that is amazing. Alright, well, we're just gonna give guy a nudge. Get him to go back under his log. Because we don't want him hanging out like this. Just push him back under. Actually, because he's still out in the open. He didn't really get underneath the log. Um, I'm gonna let him get back under. I'm actually gonna pull him out for a second so I can really get him under the log. But yeah, that is awesome. Sorry, my camera's being weird and it's vibrating. It might sound weird, but here's the snake again. Super cool. We're gonna put him back because um, it's the second time we've seen him or her, but we are just going to put him back. That is awesome. So here's a snake again. So beautiful. Yellow. What are you doing, dude? You're like wrapping yourself. Weird. Alright. So, I'm going to put him down for a second. All I've got to do is make sure that the log is nice and in there. You're not a ball python. What are you doing? It's like a ball pipe. We are gonna let him go. Make sure he's all the way back under the log. Safe and sound. It's pretty cold, so that's why he's not moving quickly, but just like that. Slips away from sight. You can kind of see it in there, but that is awesome. So our mom just flipped the third snake and all three snakes she's found um, today. It's a nice Chicago garter. Pretty small. Um, he kind of musked all over himself and it smells kind of bad, but he's not too big, but very, very cool. Kind of. He's at, It looks like he's been eating well because he's kind of, he's pretty round, which is good. Um, just under a small rock over there. That is awesome. I'm gonna get some pics of him or her and let him go. I think it's a he. The tail looks very, very long. That is awesome. So the snake just turned away just as I was about to get a video, but second video it keeps out doing that, but that is awesome. So here's a pelican right here. That big white bird. Pretty cool. You can see it's orangey bill. <laughs>